so now we come to the real atmospheric pollution so so atmospheric pollution fine this atmospheric pollution and uh, is also of two types when we are talking about the the air pollution then it is of two types one that is concentrated solely in the troposphere and the other which is the phenomena relating to the stratosphere fine so so our atmosphere our atmosphere has got got multiple concentric layers okay so we have our earth like this and then we have a thin shell of of air and followed by a okay so so we have basically a troposphere troposphere which extends <coughs> up to 10 to 12 kilometers above the what's the difference between atmosphere and troposphere earth surface whatever region which contains even the slightest amount of air that is up to up to 400 km that is all atmosphere so these are layers in the same atmosphere okay so troposphere is basically the most okay. Okay. the most one of the close the closest and the most humdrum layer of the of the atmosphere followed by stratosphere followed by ionosphere and then exosphere and then gone then there there is no no air at all now in the troposphere okay it is it is windy okay second contains most of the dust particles of atmosphere most of the dust particles okay has has water vapor is related with cloud formations is related with cloud formations and is normally turbulent and is normally turbulent okay and that we realize when we are traveling by an airplane we sometimes hit the air pockets and then we understand what turbulence is fine otherwise it is not visible <clears throat> now beyond that so so this is my troposphere this is stra stratosphere this is stratosphere 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 is beyond the troposphere so so say from 10 to 50 kilometers above the earth surface above the earth surface 
okay that is troposphere fine so, oh, sorry stratosphere okay beyond actually why why it happens uh, because there is no uh, yeah absolute thin line demarcation right it cannot be so kind of uh, it's like that okay so <coughs> so 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 it, it, it contains basically dioxygen, dinitrogen, dinitrogen and ozone. Also negligible water vapor. Now what happens? The ozone present there actually blocks more than 99% of the UV radiations and that's how we are shielded, right? So the ozone in the stratosphere blocks 99.5% of UV radiations. Radiations and hence acts as, as a protective blanket for the earth. Blanket shielding us from shielding us from from you from obviously uh, yeah from cancerous uv rays and sadly we see that 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 very ozone hole is getting depleted due to various reasons many of which are of our own making right it's it's us who have contributed to that <coughs> okay 